In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick tip for how to beat cover four drop in Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, what I do here is I post four videos a day on YouTube that are designed to help you with some type of tangible tactic, strategy, tip, or concept that you can use to win more games in Madden 21. And so if you're interested in improving in Madden 21, I have learned so much through this process, and I'm sure that my subscribers have as well and so if you guys are wanting to get better wanting to continue to grow i want to encourage you right now to click subscribe on the youtube channel you can click that little subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen there's also a little icon to the next to the right of that that you can click that's going to turn on notifications so you know every time we post a new video which again is four times a day here on youtube and we also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock eastern time all right, guys, this is a cover four beater out of the gun cluster formation. Uh, gun cluster is really, really good against zone this year. I mean, really, really good against zone. Uh, it's in my Arizona ebook. Uh, we're working on some updates as well to it to continue to expand on it. So if you haven't picked up the ebook, you can in the description. But the play we're going to be talking about is Z Spot. So I'm just going to pick Z Spot, and we're going up against cover four drop from Dime 146. Now, all you're going to do. Uh, literally all that I typically will do out of this is I'm going to take Boykin and I'm just going to motion him to the right just a few steps right here just so he's outside and what you'll see is he's going to hold this corner and I can throw it right over the top of the corner as you see right there to Marquise Brown for an absolute dot now one thing you can do with this if you want to you don't have to do this is smart route the Z spot, uh, smart route the corner route, so you're going to give yourself a little bit more space. You have a good mobile quarterback, you can get out of the pocket. But you see by smart route in the corner route, you see how it's going to bring uh, Stephon Gilmore down. So one other thing that I would recommend is if you want to, you don't have to do this, you can just leave Boykin where he's at here. You don't have to motion him out. The spacing on the play is going to allow you some, some wiggle room with this. But this is going to get right over the top of Stephon Gilmore. Now, one other thing you can do, I do want you to know this. Whenever you have a corner route, if you have that wide receiver breaking on a corner route to the outside, um, I like to take the uh, running back here, put him on a little streak. And then from there, what I can do is on the interior, I can work a Portland concept and run a smart routed in route to the tight end and then a hitch route to Sneed, smart routed at about 10 yards. You'll see with that little motion out of the corner route, it's going to hold all of these zones and you're going to be able to absolutely torch cover four over the top as long as you can get the ball off. And it does require a little bit of time for you to be able to get the ball off so you can block your running back. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's not going to necessarily affect anything on the play. This is just at optimal level. What would you do? How would you run the play? And, you know, if they're running heavy coverage defenses from like 3-4, you'll see here, if I pass lead this up into the out, it's going to be an absolute dot against the cover four drop. So, anyways, guys, this is one of the plays that I recommend uh, using uh, especially if you're faced with uh, a lot of cover four drop uh, defense from like 3-4. This works really, really well. You'll see here that corner route's going to hold that deep deep corner Gilmore. You're going to be able to throw it right over the top here. And if you click on, you can easily rat catch that up for a one-play score. So if you guys haven't joined my Discord yet, I do want to encourage you to do that. You can join Discord by clicking the link in the description we have that says join my Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, it's basically an app that you get on your phone that allows us to all connect in real time it allows me to get notifications on my phone whenever you guys are chatting and it just helps me stay up to date and also helps me learn from you guys and it allows you to learn from people that may not have a YouTube channel but are really, really good at the game. So I just think it's a great platform. It's a great opportunity to be able to grow. I personally have gained so much from you guys in the Discord. And I want to encourage you, those of you that haven't been posting much in Discord, be sure to do that once you get into the community. Share your ideas, share your insights, share your setups, share your knowledge of this game because we're all going to get better together. Thank you for your time. And we got one more video coming for you today on the YouTube channel. And we'll also be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.